Hello and welcome to We Who Are About To Die. Or should I say welcome back? That's more likely what we should say. But anyway, we have 183 or almost 183,000 fame and we're going to be using some wonderful fundraising relatively soon. This is obviously the main reason why I was stacking fame multipliers because this is pretty much the only way from what I can tell that you can increase your gold amount and obviously if you're doing the former soldier backstory which is what I'm obviously doing right now then the only way to do it is by getting as much gold as possible and in my opinion because there are no gold multipliers present in the game at the moment that doesn't mean that it's always going to remain that way of course that this is the best way of doing it. So here's the thing. The only reason why I'm not doing fundraising right now is purely for the fact that, as you can see, the more total favor, the better the rate of conversion. So in other words, gaining as much favor as possible with your patrons actually has an effect on the fundraising as far as I'm aware. So you can see here we've got a pretty decent amount as it is. Alawara obviously is lagging behind the others by a pretty significant margin. So I guess the best thing for me to do is head right into a many versus many. But this is going to be problematic for multiple reasons. Although this fellow is a flail guy. So maybe he's actually going to do okay. I don't even know. But we're going to do it nevertheless. Let's have a look and see. No, I can't. Apparently, I can't even bet today. All right. Well, that's absolutely fine. Let's just head straight on in. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to achieve victory here. I'm pretty sure that my backstory is done, but let's just let's just kind of keep a handle on things because you never know. You know, these kinds of battles can go bad in no time at all. And I need to be on the ball, making sure that I know exactly what I'm doing and uh, hopefully I'm not going to make a mistake. Anyway, here we go. Let's see if I can do something here. Okay, hitting my own guy, probably not that useful. I wish these guys didn't have helmets or at the very least I wish they didn't have anything so uh, so good the helmets are very very powerful by the looks of things oh nice damage from my uh, from my teammate right there Trying to do some damage, trying to ping pong them back and forth between each, uh, between us, uh, between us. Uh, maybe, maybe we, oh no, wow, this is, this is, this is kind of bad actually. I'm trying to get that guy off my, uh, off my teammate, but I am very low in terms of stamina. I'm taking damage as well. There we go. He's dead. Okay. Whew. That was worrying. That was very worrying. Okay, hello. Can you can you actually kill this guy? Uh, uh, does he have a does he have a weapon? Yeah, he does have a weapon. Okay, he's dead too. Whew. Okay, that was a that was a bit too close, wasn't it? I was thinking to myself, oh yes, I think we will absolutely one hundred percent do this. Yeah, yeah. N never never say that. Okay, never say that. If you're like me and you may be uh, <laughs> not not the greatest in combat then uh, be a little bit careful about what you say at least for me because uh, that was um, that was real that was actually really close anyway I think I should probably be able to trade all of my fame now or very much of my fame at least um, <laughs> I'm a bit worried about this for a real quick second I'm actually just gonna heal myself twice mm, maybe again I'm just gonna heal myself again so here we go what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade a hundred and uh, let me see a hundred and ninety thousand fame. Okay, a hundred and ninety thousand fame. Hopefully that is going to be enough for us to get to a hundred thousand gold. If it isn't, that's absolutely fine. We've still got enough fame to be able to do what we want to do. 
Um, so let's do it. Yep, there we go. Easily enough. Look at that. We have 120,000. And this actually also gives me the opportunity to possibly buy a weapon that can potentially help us in the times ahead. So we've got three three rerolls possible here. Let me see what I can get. I really want to get... Yeah, the Tenderizer is a really good weapon, by the way, as well. But uh, obviously not something that I'm really wanting to go for. I'm actually thinking that maybe we'll get this. This could be really, really fun, having a two-handed mace as an heirloom. Because what I'm actually wanting to do is do kind of like a bit of a challenge run. Because obviously we have no idea what we're going to get next. You know, we have no idea what class we're going to get next. So this could be kind of cool. Also, I think in the next episode, I'm probably going to be, apart from doing a challenge run, obviously, you know, at the same time, we're going to be checking out the new version of the game because there is a beta version available through the, you know, through the uh, Steam menu. And the developer is obviously, you know, doing some testing on that kind of stuff. So anyway, we're just going to go and purchase this. There we go. We're going to use the two-handed mace, which uh, all intents and purposes, a lot of people have said, is amazing. So I'm actually going to be using this. And the challenge run particularly is going to be that we will use only two-handed weapons. Okay, no shields. So no, no godly shield with me or anything like that. We're not taking anything with us right there. And uh, apart from that, that's that's pretty much it. There, there isn't anything else that I... Uh, oh, yeah, also shrouded. Yes, we, we are only going to be... Uh, we're not going to be uncovering anything in regards to matches. We're going to be going in without knowing anything about the matches. So it's going to be two-handed only, and it's going to be complete unknown fights that we're going into. So that's what we're going to try to do. I'm going to sell everything that I have now because I want to invest the rest of my money. And I know people um, kind of complain about that when I don't do that, even though I'm super worried about actually selling all my stuff and then uh, messing up the requirement, which is what I did in a previous episode. And oh my, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still getting people talking about that. Anyway, here we go. Hopefully we're going to be able to still do this. There we go. I think we're fine here. All right, so let's just invest... Got to be careful. Don't want to go too much. Just going to do that. Just because I'm wanting to be careful about it. And now we can retire. There we go. Victory. And let's take a look and see what's going on. Aspired scholars and commoners alike will remember a shift in how the population thought and spoke about martial arts in the arena. Your use of grounded pragmatic combat skills attained in the military revolutionized training regimes in all school I. The sport has grown because of you. And there we go. This is actually one of the best legacies, in my opinion, and uh, providing an additional 0 to 10 in all skills. I mean, really, this is actually kind of crazy, but obviously uh, you've got to think about the fact that, you know, there's also a, you know, times three fame multiplier maximum potentially as well as a bunch of other things that can really help you. So anyway, we're just going to start a new run and we do have that wonderful heirloom. Okay, we're starting with criminal scum. All right. Okay, this is actually not even bad. This is not too bad. So obviously this is our victory condition, but we don't really mind about that uh, so far. So we're going to be calling ourselves... Portable. Portable. Uh, it has to be two. It has to be two names. All right. Uh, portable. Bonk. Perfect. All right. I'm sure someone has a much better name than that. But yeah, we're going <laughs> to we're just going to go with that. All right. So, yeah, obviously we are very familiar with how this is. And um, I think this is pretty good, actually. We're going to just, um, well, we're going to bet a lot, but obviously we just don't know how we are going to bet because obviously, as I've said before, we're not going to be unveiling any of the matches and their possibilities that you could potentially face. So we're just going to accept this. There we go. And we are going to immediately use our two-handed. I'm probably just going to sell this thing. I don't really want to use that. And we have 8,400 gold. So here's the thing. I'm going to need some armor, aren't I? I'm going to need some armor, but I'm actually wondering whether I should even bother using any of this armor at the moment because this is going to give me less. I mean, look at this. It's going to give me less stamina region, and it's also going to give me less fame multiplier. So I'm actually thinking of selling my, my boots, 
which is really funny in my opinion. I can't re-roll anything by the way either, so do bear that in mind. Otherwise, we can't order anything, we can't do much of anything at all actually, but yeah, um, we're almost actually at the point where I might be able to get Entourage, which is obviously going to be super, super useful for us. And I would also like to do some training. It would have been really cool if we had gotten the Slave, I think. I was actually hoping to get the Slave because the Slave has great training ratios, as far as I remember. I could be wrong about that, obviously, but um, it's been a while. Anyway, I'm going to go for Stamina and Movement, or we could go for Two-Handed Mace could go for two-handed mace because we're currently using a two-handed mace and might make sense for us to be a little bit better at it right maybe it makes sense to go for a little bit okay let's do it uh two-handed mace skill should we go for a little bit more yeah let's go for a little bit more why not let's do two weeks initially at least and uh yeah i'm pretty good okay so we've got 90 percent stamina region and I'm wanting to change my uh, accessory. Let's change it to, ooh, the half, half cloak looks cool. Yeah, you've got a bunch of other stuff here as well, as you can quite clearly see. Ooh, a flared hood. That might be fun. A worn cloak. A worn long cloak. A worn long cloak seems fun. Why not? Let's do something like that. All right, so as I said, we're not going to be using any reveals whatsoever. We can already see here, however, that this is a one versus many. This is also a one versus many with spoils to the victor and something else. Obviously, spoils to the victor is not actually going to help me. What I would actually like to see, though, however, is I would like to see the... Uh, I would like to see some armor actually drop during spoils to the victor, or just generally. I'd like to see armor drop on the floor, because then you can actually pick up armor if you don't have any, and I obviously don't have any at the moment. Of course, we have no idea what the reward is going to be for this, um, so that's... I, I'm thinking we're probably just going to go for this one because I don't know how many enemies we're going to fight here and I know that we're going to fight five here. I don't really want to fight two, you know what I mean? Because that's going to be a lot less of a reward. So I'm just going to bet winning within four minutes. I think I can probably win within four minutes, possibly. And getting three kills, I think I can probably do that as well. Bear in mind that betting as criminal scum is much, much better than you might think. And even though this is spoils to the victor, I already have a great weapon. Do bear that in mind. So that's the reason why we're not taking that. Anyway, we're going to go straight on in. Let's see what we can do. I'm very much hopeful that we will be able to at least perform relatively well. Obviously, this is, in my opinion, one of the worst arenas. I, I really do not like this arena at all. It's obviously much worse if you are playing with a flail. Um, but we've already seen that, you know. We've already seen what, what happens with that. Anyway, let me see if I can actually play with this relatively well. Oh, the damage! Okay, hello. This is... Okay, yeah, this is actually kind of, uh, kind of amazing. Can I get some kills, though, please? Okay, I'm gonna... I want to kill this guy at the back there. Oh, no, never mind, never mind. Apparently, I want to kill everyone. The damage is absolutely incredible. Okay, I've got to win really, really quickly, by the way. So I'm, I'm, I can't, I can't wait around. You know, I can't wait around. Anyway, my stamina region is pretty good because obviously I am, um, you know, basically wearing no armor at all. So there's that. Okay, I, I really want, I really need to get kills as well. I really need to get kills. There we go. Okay, he's dead. Okay, ah, uh, my stamina. I'm, you know, I'm getting impatient. You see, I'm getting impatient. That's the that's the whole problem here. Okay, I'm getting way too impatient. I should be more careful. Okay, he's dead. Nice. I should really dash more, actually, shouldn't I? I feel like dashing more would probably make sense. I really want to kill that guy on the right. That would be useful, but he's blocking me quite often. There we go. I did some damage, but unfortunately not enough. There we go. He's dead. <laughs> the damage from this thing is absolutely incredible. I should really do some overheads as well, shouldn't I? Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to do as much, but there we go. Oh, that was nice. That was real nice. Okay, and look at that. I'm just cheering. 
<laughs> that was wonderful. Ooh, I like it. I like playing with a two-handed. It's fun, at least initially, because maybe uh, later down the line it's not going to be that fun. But there you go. We did get some wonderful fame right there. Obviously, my fame is going to be going skyrocketing up because we do have that additional fame bonus from one of our previous victories. Obviously, if we were playing this completely... Uh, you know, naked without without any of those upgrades. It would be a little bit more difficult. Free shop rerolls. I think I will probably be taking that. I think that sounds pretty fun instead of a thousand gold. I don't think I need a thousand gold so much. As we did get a huge amount of bets, as you can see right there, a huge amount of money from the bets. And uh, now we can basically unlock whatever we want. So I'm going to unlock two of these and we're going to be going for fame multipliers really, really hard. Oh, this is a nice helmet actually. Good. Wow. Actually, good armor too, but it is going to reduce my stamina region. I'm actually kind of wondering whether I should even bother going for, um, you know, armor in general. I mean, I do need armor, of course, but I'm wondering whether I should go for it as much as I was before. Hmm. Not sure. <laughs> uh, this is going to give me a. It is going to give me a fame multiplier though, so it might make sense. I have seventeen thousand gold though, so I think what I'd like to do first is go over here, get Entourage straight away, because we, of course, have no idea what we're going to be facing in the arena. So I'd like to be able to have Entourage and its benefit as soon as possible. And I also probably want to get Greater... Uh, not Greater Mending. I want to get We Who Are About to Disinfect. I'd also like to get Extraordinary. So I think what we'll do is we'll get Extraordinary just because I can. It's pretty, you know, pretty cheap. And I'm then thinking we will buy this helmet because... It is 6% stamina region. I'm thinking I'm probably going to keep legs off for quite a, quite a good amount of time until we can find some really good ones that actually provide us with decent fame. But you've got to bear in mind, at this point, we're probably going to have decent stamina. So hopefully that's going to help us. Uh, but yeah, 15% fame multiplier. Is it worth... Oh, I can't even buy this. <laughs> Never mind. I can't even buy it. All right, so this is Entourage. This is a many versus many. I don't really... Oh, wow. None of this is actually any good. Look at this. Okay, this is terrible. Okay, I'm going to have to do some betting then, I guess. And uh, that means that I'm probably not able to do much. So I'll probably get Aspirant Welfare, most likely. Let's have a look at the bets. Okay, win within two minutes. I can probably win within two minutes of doing the one versus one. This seems to be the best. Yeah, that seems to be the best at the moment from what I can tell. So let's win within two minutes there. And that's pretty much it. Survive with 50% health. I mean, technically I could do that too. So let's do that as well. And then we'll just go over to our upgrades, get Aspirant Welfare so we can spend less money healing ourselves. And then we're just going to go straight on in. And we're going to train once again, obviously. So hopefully this is going to work out quite nicely for us. And bear in mind, I will want to use, I'm hoping that I will get the Masterwork Bardiche. That is one of the weapons that I am very much wanting to try out. So I'm probably going to be training a little bit of... Is it a polearm or is it a two-handed axe? I think it's a polearm, right? So I should probably get a polearm as well and just try to train that a little bit too. That could be uh, that could be pretty useful. This guy is actually making things a bit difficult for me, as you can see. Okay, yeah, this might be a bit problematic. Okay, there we go. Not too bad. What? What? <laughs> what? What is actually going on with this guy? Apparently, he's just absolutely murdering me. Okay, there we go. Uh, what? What? What is going on with him? Uh, I have no idea. He's um, he's apparently very good with a uh, blunt object. Not sure what's going on with that, but okay, there we go. He's dead. That was that was very strange. I'm kind of a little bit shook from that. So the, my confidence has been shaken quite significantly. And I'm now thinking to myself, oh, uh, am I actually going to be able to do anything <laughs> later on down the line? You know, I'm thinking, oh, okay, that's a bit problematic. Anyway, we gained a massive amount of money from my bets, as you can see right there. And I'm also going to be getting, um, don't really need the fame so much. I don't really need the fame. So I'm going to go for the dashing skill because someone actually mentioned in the comments very helpfully that maybe it would be an idea for me to start using my dash to provide myself with a little bit more... Uh, momentum and the momentum is is going to make a huge difference to my damage output or at least I will try to make it make a difference 
All right, so we have a, a possibility to get this, which is a pole arm, which might actually make sense if I'm going to get the Bardish. Um, but as it stands right now, I'm not sure if I can afford that because I do need to bet as well. Yeah, I mean, I mean I, technically I could get rid of my, my chess piece as well, you know. Technically I could get rid of that. I'm going to probably heal myself. The, should I heal myself? It's only 7 HP. Probably not going to do that. Let's train some pole arms while we can. Let's do a little bit of this. I'm going to train. I'm going to train so much actually with this character. I'm going to train so much. All right. Let's see. What else can I get? <laughs> not much. Not much. Uh, I could get seal of approval, but then I'm not going to be able to bet on anything. So let's actually have a look. One versus many. Probably going to do this one. Let's just have a quick look. Deal 300 damage. Probably going to be able to do that. Survive with 50% health. That's unlikely, but I'm... I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to do it. End with 100% public favor. Okay, so we're going to say that I will do 300 damage and I'm going to end with 100% public favor. Obviously, I can bet on all of these if I want to, but obviously one of them is not really going to work. And bear in mind, how are we doing in terms of my durability? Mm. The durability of my weapon is okay. Not amazing, but okay. And technically, I could reroll if I wanted to, but I, I don't think I'm going to do that right now. I don't think I have enough money to really afford anything. So I'm just going to unlock another auxiliary slot. And then we're going to go for... I wanted to get seal of approval, but now I realize that we don't have enough for it. Oh, well, that's fine. It is not a big deal at all. And we should have a pretty easy time of things. Okay. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with this. A one versus many. Let's go for it. As I say, we are not revealing anything. We're not clicking reveal ever on any of these things. And we're just we're just taking whatever we can. Uh, whatever is going to provide us with the, the biggest benefit. So if we see a one versus many, we're going to take that. But if we see all question marks, then we just have to take whichever. Just random. You know, that's the... That's the main uh, main thing that we've got to consider here. Also, bear in mind, if I do get my weapon destroyed, I'm going to have to actually pick up something from the ground, which is probably going to be really, really harsh. But yeah, we'll, we'll try it nevertheless. Okay, hello, f hello, friends. Oh, huh. that, that worked. That was some nice damage, though. Okay, just going to dash away a little bit here. Okay, that was some good damage as well. Basically just going to use my strategy that I tend to like on this particular arena. I love this arena, by the way. I think this arena is one of the most fun that you can play on. I don't know whether you agree on that. Actually, let me know. Let me know what your favorite arena is because personally for me, I love this one. I think this one is so incredibly fun. Just purely for the fact that you do have a multitude of different elevations that you're able to fight on. And I really enjoy those a lot. I enjoy those so much in comparison to some of the others because the others, eh, you know, the first one is just very simple, of course, you know, it, it is a simple one and it is meant to be like that so that you can kind of get to grips with how the uh, combat system works and how everything is handled. But for me personally, I love this one. I think this is so, so fun. I, I would love to see more arenas like this, actually. Ooh, nice. Wow, that damage. Okay, I'm, I'm using some overheads as well, by the way. I'm trying to kind of mix it up a little bit just so that I don't, you know, continually use the horizontal attacks. But sometimes that's all I can kind of use. There we go. Nice. You're just trying to hit them on the head as well. There we go. He's out of there. And is this guy out of... Yeah, he's out of there too. Wow. Okay, that was some massive damage right there. Okay, and now hopefully... One last, one last fellow. He has basically nothing. I can pretty much just take my time. And for some reason, he is surviving. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. We did it. All right, so I think I dealt enough damage. Uh, did I actually fulfill all the all the bets? Yeah, I actually ended with 100% public favor as well. So that was nice. I didn't take too long. And we're also getting prestigious. So that's really nice. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't, I didn't do both bets. I didn't do both bets. I ended with 100% public favor, though, as you can see. Huh. Uh, I mean, I, I did 569 damage. I actually wonder, what, what was the other bet that I took? Did I, not, did I not do both? Okay, maybe I made a mistake and I didn't do both. Oh, well. 
as I say, doesn't really matter too much. Ooh, stamina region. This is one of the best things that you can get. And as we're not going to be using a shield, give me that stamina region. Thank you very much. That is going to be so incredibly useful for us. All right. So as you can see, my durability is low now. And this is actually one of the main chess pieces that I was looking for. So we're actually going to be purchasing that straight away, going to be putting that on. And we'll just sell the other one. If this one literally gets destroyed, then I'm going to play without anything. That's it. <laughs> As I say, challenge run. This is literally challenge run enabled. You know, we're, we're pretty much just trying to make this as uh, kind of fun and exciting as it possibly can be. And um, yeah, hopefully that's going to be the case. Anyway, I, what I need to do is I need to reroll now. Okay. I need to reroll and I need to also heal myself. So let me actually just go for we who are about to disinfect and we're just going to re-roll. I want to try and see if I can get a, a different weapon. Uh, I'm getting a bit unlucky here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm getting a bit unlucky here right now, but thankfully we do have some free re-rolls, so that's not too bad. This is a wonderful helm, by the way. I'd highly recommend getting this helm if you uh, if you want Fame Multiplier and a good amount of armor. This is really, really nice. Unfortunately, I just don't have enough... Um, I don't have enough money for it. Technically, I could hold it if I wanted to. Should, should we hold it? I don't know. I mean, 6% stamina. I, yeah, I guess it's all right, right? Yeah, let's let's hold it a little bit. And then let's see if I can get another weapon. Why am I not getting a weapon? I am really not getting a weapon right now. Okay, there we go. Got a weapon. This is a pole arm. Ooh, okay. Hello. And I love the flavor text on this. It says, heavy thing hit much hard. Indeed. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's super funny. All right. So I'm actually going to be purchasing this just purely for the fact that it is a two-handed and I do need to repair my other one. As you can see, it's 134 out of 246. Technically, I could still use this and probably not have too many difficulties, but I don't want to take that chance. I want to make sure that I have what I need to make this work. So apart from that, we are going to heal myself and then we're going to be getting the blacksmith. I don't have enough money to bet, but we're going to take a look at the bets first and see. Win with five surviving. Okay, I have no idea about any of these. I have no idea about any of them, actually. And we're not going to be clicking reveal, as I say. We're not going to be clicking reveal. We're probably going to take the shrouded match because we have no idea what this is going to be. And there are two other things. So we could actually be going into a luck of the drawer. And I have no idea whether we are. So this is going to be very funny. Um, I'm not going to trade anything because I don't know what we're getting. So... You know, if it was within, um, you know, if it was like win within a minute or win within, you know, four minutes or something like that, I would take that almost immediately because that makes all the sense in the world because more than likely I'm going to be able to accomplish that. But as it stands right now, everything else, not so much. This golden wreath is actually fantastic too, by the way. I'd highly recommend getting this if you are just wanting very quick fame. It's really good. Um, as you can see, this is obviously much better, but the wreath is just super super cheap so yeah it's um it's really good for you anyway i'm gonna go straight on in am i am i yes i think so yes and we're also training by the way as well so if this is a one versus many or something like that then uh we might have some issues but i think it will be all right uh oh no it's a spoils to the victor and a uh, and an insurance match oh okay that's not too bad but what is it though i don't know whether it's a um is it a, a many versus one or a I think it's a many versus one, actually. That's really weird. All right. Well, that's fine. Yeah, it is a many versus one. This is so funny. All right. <laughs> oh, this is not what I intended, that's for sure. But, um, oh, the damage from this thing. What? Okay. Uh, he's dead. Um. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not going to be doing anything with that, that's for sure. Okay, that was terrible, terrible rewards, <laughs> uh, as you might expect. Uh, that's kind of sad, actually, because I was, uh, yeah, now I need to actually save the helm again, and I'm not going to be able to purchase it right now. Ooh, yeah, that's the difficulty, you see. That's the difficulty with not unveiling anything. All right, so free shop rerolls or 2,000 gold. I'll take the 2,000 gold. All right, so yeah, we have now kept the, the uh, Tarantian Helm once again. So I am actually going to try and see whether I can get um, 
get this helmet in the next round, I suppose. Uh, so we're going to hold on to it once more. Let's take a look and see. Uh, many versus one. Okay, we don't know what this is, but you can see here that this is a double skull. So I'm thinking to myself, we're probably going to do this one, even though the one versus one is probably going to work a little bit better for me. Win within three minutes. Let's do that and deal 200 damage. We could also do that, but let's just take a quick look at everything else. Is everything working for me quite nicely? Yes, I think it is. I will probably be staying with the polearm. I very much enjoyed this, as you might expect. It did so much damage, I don't even understand how it was able to do that, but yeah, it was. And we are otherwise just going to train with our pole arms. Obviously, later down the line, when I have a little bit more cash to spend, probably going to be... I'm going to actually get heirloom right now. There we go. Because I've already... Didn't I bet? Yeah, I already bet. So that's absolutely fantastic. So yeah, anyway... A little bit later down the line when we have the ability to order things from the shop. Obviously, I can order things right now, but I just don't have enough money to be able to purchase them. Then I'm going to be attempting to get the Masterwork Bardiche, as I talked about earlier in the episode. So I'm thinking that that's going to be super, super fun to use. Ooh, this is not... Oh, this is actually fine. We, we've got Entourage. It's Luck of the Draw. Okay, that's that's kind of weird, but all right. Um, yeah, so we, we are not using our hammer, which is kind of unfortunate, but... Okay, uh, is there a two-handed here? There's a spear. Okay, I, I will use the spear and I will poke him in the face. Oh, okay, yeah, this is not going to work. Where's my, um, where are my friends? Do I not have entourage? I do have entourage, so why, why is, oh, there they are. Okay, um, <laughs> what? Okay, it seems like the game forgot to give me, um, forgot to give me opponents, I assume. Uh, uh, not opponents. I forgot to give me allies. I think that that was that was the issue there. Yeah, that was the issue. That was very funny. All right. Well, let's just poke a little bit with this. Nice damage. Wow, actually, not bad. Not bad. Hilariously enough. Uh, got to poke at his face though. Got to poke at his face. It's a little bit difficult to do that when your allies are in the way. But um, yeah. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. Yeah, so that was um, that was interesting. I really did not expect my allies to come dropping in from the um, <laughs> from the sky, which is exactly what happened. But there you go. All right. Yeah, that was not too bad, I suppose. And considering the fact that we did have our bet pay out, we are getting some pretty nice, uh, pretty nice cash from that. So that's quite good. Anyway, uh, shop costs are now increased once again, but that's actually all right. That is not too bad. So I can basically just hold the helmet once again. We don't need to purchase it right now. And uh, yeah, so I'd like to use my hammer next time if at all possible. Please don't give me another luck of the draw because luck of the draw is actually very difficult for someone that only wants to use two-handed or pole arms. So that might be a bit uh, problematic in the future, but there we go. All right, so I've got a bunch of this. We might want to just get unionized straight away, even though I'm probably not going to be skipping any of the matches. Let's uh, train ourselves a little bit again. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what do we have? Spoils to the victor, some random thing. We also have entourage and some random thing. We can see the reward of this one. This is a one versus one. Can't see anything about the others. Let's see what my bets are. Wow, okay. Uh, get four kills. I guess I could bet on this. And I'm going to bet that this is a many versus many. I think this might be a many versus many because of the arena itself. So we're going to take a look at it and see whether it is. And we do have Entourage as well. It's also prestigious, so that's really nice. Yeah, it is a many versus many. Like I... Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Like I predicted. Mm-hmm. Ah, how wonderful. Anyway, um, yes. Hopefully this is going to give us enough cash to be able to purchase the, uh, the helmet. I could also trade some fame for cash, but as we've seen in the past, sometimes that's not particularly good. Anyway, these guys actually have some decent armor, so I'm going to have to be a bit careful about this. Nice damage. He's, he's, he's dead? No, no, he's not dead. Almost. Now he's dead. That was hilarious. Okay, he's dead already? I... Wow. Okay. Ah, <laughs> never mind. Okay. Okay, so, yeah. Overheads seem to be really, really good with pole arms. 
So that's something that I'm learning right now because obviously I've barely used pole arms in my previous. Wow. Okay, that was hilarious. Um, yeah. So we've we've barely used pole arms in the previous runs. So this is actually kind of amazing. I didn't do my bet, which is kind of unfortunate. Obviously, I had no idea what kind of thing we were going to be facing, whether it was a many versus many, and how many allies we had. So betting is a bit, bit of a blind, um, bit of a blind option right there. So it's kind of a bit unfortunate. But oh well, never mind. Okay, shield skill or dashing skill? Going to go for dashing skill, of course. And ah, we get a Miradon Daka. I'm gonna be taking that just purely for the fact that I can sell it for 2,700. I almost have enough for the helmet, so I'm gonna trade a little bit of fame for it because then we're eventually, we're, well, we're finally gonna have access to it. So we're gonna be trading some fame. So let's do that. Let's do, how much do I need? I actually need quite a bit. So we're gonna trade 20,000, not 2,000, 20,000. Thank you very much. So we're just gonna trade that and we barely have enough for it. So just going to buy it right away. There we go. And that's going to give us some wonderful, wonderful protection. And then we are fine. Yeah, but I obviously can't tra train this time, which is sad. But that's actually fine because look at this. We got a one versus many and it's actually available for us. Okay, win within one minute. Never going to be able to win within one minute. Um, I'm thinking that maybe should I continue to use the pole arm? I think I will continue to use the pole arm. It is quite fun, isn't it? It is devastating. And we also have Entourage here, which is really lucky. Uh, I, I got super lucky actually getting this completely uncovered because we have all the information about it. So this is pretty nice. But again, we're putting our, our uh, destiny, our fate in the hands of, well, the proverbial gods in this world here because obviously... We have no idea what we're going to get. So, yeah. Anyway, let's see if I can get some wonderful overhead kills once again. Okay, uh, yeah. Bit problematic. Oh, 42. 42 damage. Okay. Wow. Okay, this is, uh, this is pretty incredible, actually. Well, um, apparently all of my friends actually survived, amazingly enough, and we won that very, very quickly. I am super surprised that we were able to do it that fast, but um, I think I think my contribution actually was pretty significant right there. If I can if I can pat myself on the back, because let's face it, if I hadn't eliminated that first guy, we'd be I don't know, we might actually have some issues. Anyway, I'm going to be getting uh, 2,000 to my next character. We have a pretty decent amount as it is. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, that's pretty harsh. Max, max stamina is capped at 70 for one week, and also you lose 40% uh, health. That's really harsh. We also cannot train, which is one of the main things that I was um, kind of saddened by right there. But, oh, well, never mind, never mind. Okay. So, uh, what, what else can we get? Well, let's see. I need to heal myself, of course. So, I will do that straight away. And we're back up to basically full HP. Let's see if I need to heal my weapon. Yeah, I think I should probably change my weapon out now. I probably need to do that. And we're going to just repair it a little bit. Let's take a look. Okay, we got a one versus one. I probably want to do this for Jordas so that we get a very... Um, we get a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more favor with him. We're going to need that. Win within one minute. Ah, I would love to be able to get that. But unfortunately, I don't have the ability to bet right now because of the event. 
as far as I'm aware. I think the event is actually preventing us from doing that, or it could be something else, I don't know, but whatever the case, I can't get uh, any uh, Scolo upgrades either, which is actually what I wanted to do. As you can see, my two-handed mace skill is actually at 56, and my polearm skill is at 46. So that's actually pretty nice, not too bad, all things considered. All right, uh, I think the best thing that I can do right now is probably do some re-rolling. So I'm just going to re-roll a couple of things because I might like to actually order some masterwork gear now. Uh, I know I said I was going to do this a lot later in the uh, in the playthrough of this particular challenge run, but I don't know. I think we might have enough. I think we might have enough possibly to be able to make that work. Possibly. Not sure. Not sure. But um, yeah, I'm actually going to heal myself once more just purely because I am a bit worried about it. And we're going to order some masterwork items to appear next time around. So we're going to just do the one versus one. I still don't have any bets available, unfortunately. I could do either one of these shrouded matches, but I don't know what they're going to be, obviously. And I'd like to get Joridus some, some favor. So I'm not sure. Should I just go for the shrouded or should I go for Joridus? You know what? You know what? Because it's fun. Because it's fun. We're going to do a shrouded match and we're going to just throw all caution to the wind. Bear in mind, if I do die, I do have my heirloom active. And oh, it's entourage. Oh, OK. It's entourage. And it's it's uh, what what is it? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what it is. Um, that might be something that would be cool to include on the on the UI. Actually, when you go in, it might be cool to see whether it's a one versus many or something like that. So I don't know. Obviously, you're not expected to go in here without knowing what you're doing but obviously because i'm doing this right now i kind of um well that is the thing we're doing of course okay nice damage nice damage okay uh yeah this guy has no idea what has what he has done to deserve getting pummeled by this insanely fun two-handed mace and he is out of there. He is out of there. Why is the why is the public uh, what? Why was the public favor so low? Oh wow, that is that is actually kind of sad. Anyway, we were doing this for Juridus, weren't we? I think this was for Juridus, which is hilarious considering this was a shrouded match. And um, hey, you know what? You know what? I feel like what would be a pretty cool thing is if when you did a shrouded match, you gain a slightly more, uh, slightly larger amount of favor potentially slightly larger amount of favor just for doing the shrouded match i think that would be kind of fun but uh, that's just my it's just my own thought on it anyway i would like more options in the shop after every match thank you very much there we go all right so let's have a look and see oh wow a bunch of helmets yeah a bunch of helmets this is a really nice helmet right here but obviously it's basically the same thing as what i'm using but slightly worse uh, there is a two-handed sword here as well. As I said before, we haven't actually used any two-handed swords. And this is also 26,000 gold, which is very impossible at the moment, which is kind of sad. Anyway, I'm just going to go back to my polearm right now. And then we're just going to re-roll because there is nothing here that I can actually purchase that would do well for me. So just going to re-roll it. Maybe we're going to get lucky with something else. Well, <laughs> there's a godly weapon. There's a godly weapon, uh, which we can buy, but I, I I don't know. Is it is it actually good? Hmm, it is good because of the fame multiplier, as you can see. But it's a cleaving weapon rather than a blunt weapon. It does have a bonus against shields. Huh. You know what? Should I go for it? Should I sell my two-handed mace and then just buy this? Oh, uh, now I'm not sure, you see. Now I'm not sure. Okay, well, we're going to go for more polearm training. I, even if I do decide to go for the uh, the godly polearm, we could do that. Oh, this is a one versus many. This is looking pretty fun, actually. So I think we're probably going to do that. Get three kills. I think I can probably do that. Uh, win within one minute. I will never, ever be able to win within one minute. Unfortunately... Uh, in a one versus many like this. Not unless it's really, really low level. I don't think I'd be able to do it in one minute. So probably not going to waste my money on that. But we will actually sell my one-handed mace. We have a refund at the moment of 70%. So I think that's pretty decent. We'll sell the one-handed mace. E oh, not the one-handed mace. We'll sell the two-handed mace. Even though this is a really good weapon. And I'd highly recommend getting it. 
but I'm going to sell it just purely for the fact that I want to try out this polearm with some polearm skill. Because last time I tried out this polearm, I did not have any polearm skill. And that might be the reason why I had such a terrible time with it. Uh, <laughs> emphasis on might. Yeah. Anyway, so it, it is going to be a one versus many. And we are doing training, which is really sad. So we're just going to have to heal myself once again. And I'm going to order some more masterwork gear because you never know. Maybe I'm actually going to get, um, maybe I'm going to get some, uh, maybe I'm going to get, I might get the Bardish, you know, I might get the Bardish. Anyway, I could theoretically win within one minute. So I'm going to try it just purely for the fact that I have a little bit of extra cash left over. And we will do the one versus many. All right, let's do this. I am very, very worried, as you might expect. But again, even if I die, it's okay. It's okay, because I do have an heirloom. I do have the pole arm in my heirloom slot. And uh, theoretically, we should be fine. Okay, this guy's got a shield. This guy doesn't. Okay, this might be actually kind of easy. Um, if I can just eliminate one of them, that would be the most preferable thing for me to do. Okay, here we go. Just gonna dodge away a little bit here. Ow. I need to kill that one guy with the two-handed sword at the back. Um, funnily enough, I, I for some reason cannot get to him. <laughs> my stamina. Oh, my stamina is hilarious right now because I'm training. Oh, that is, that is a bad idea. Do not do that. If you're me, don't do that. I should have listened to myself from the future. Yes, indeed. Okay, well, we're, we're doing some massive damage right now, and that's actually um, wonderful. <laughs> what? He's dead? Can I win within one minute? Uh, no, I can't win within one minute. Oh, I'm so sad. I could have actually won that. Uh, I think maybe if I'd been a little bit better at managing my stamina, I just didn't really... Oh no, I thought he was dead there. That would have been so sad if I actually won on that hit. But there we go, I won on that hit instead. Oh, now I'm sad. Oh well, never mind, never mind. That was so much easier than anticipated. I really, yeah. Anyway, at least we know now, in future, if I take myself a little bit more seriously and I think to myself, yeah, you know what? I think I might actually be able to do that. Then, you know, maybe we would have been able to do that. But uh, I did get one of my bets paid out, which is pretty nice. Uh, we got spear skill right here. I think I'm going to go for the spear skill instead of the uh, free shop rerolls. Don't really need fame right now, as you can quite clearly tell. And Valerius is now saying, oh, yeah, this is very nice to see you, my boy. Very good. And uh, otherwise, promotional campaigns will exchange gold for fame in a ratio of one on one. Yeah, gold for fame. I'm not sure if I really appreciate that. I would appreciate the other thing. Also, this is great armor, but as I've said to you before, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything with that because it provides such an incredible stamina deficit, and that is not something that I'm really looking for. Unfortunately, the masterwork items that it has provided me right now are not the ones I'm looking for either, so very, very sad to see that. I could technically re-roll, which I think I will probably do, just to see if I can find something else that might be kind of useful. There's a two-handed axe here if I wanted to use that. But I think we're doing pretty well with pole arms right now, hilariously enough. Who would have ever expected me to say that, eh? Yeah, certainly not me, that's for sure. All right, what about this? What's this? Hmm. This is a pretty deep... That's a funny thing. There are a bunch of really decent helms. The helms available are actually quite numerous uh, and some very good ones at that. Uh, this, is a, this is a wonderful polearm, actually. This is a pretty good one, but unfortunately, it doesn't do that much damage against shields in comparison to the one I'm currently using. As you can see, this is just incredible. Plus 50% damage to shields. I mean, really, can you get any better than that? Not really. Mm, what else can we get here? Hmm. It doesn't really look like much. So I'm just going to continue on with this is shrouded one versus one. Uh, oh, this is one versus many. So I'm going to do the one versus many just purely for the fact that we know that this is going to be pretty fantastic. I will probably be able to win within two minutes. I might be able to win within two minutes. So I'm going to try to bet on that. I'm not going to train myself this time because I think I'll probably be able to win without doing that. We're going to order some more masterwork gear because as I say, I'm still looking for the Bardish. I will try to get seal of approval. I, I think I'm going to get seal of approval now, actually. Just because I can. And we're going to unlock a bunch of these slots as well, because I can, indeed. And uh, yeah, otherwise, 
Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Again, we're not going to reroll anything. We're going to be forced to take what we have straight away. That's the that's the challenge, you know. That's the that's the challenge. Obviously using something that is far out of my comfort zone as well, which is obviously a two-handed pole arm. As I said to you in a previous episode, I was not liking it at all. And now all of a sudden, we seemingly are doing quite well. Not too badly. Not too badly. You know, uh, that's the really, really funny thing. <laughs> did I just jinx myself? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Ah, uh, you know, that's the funny thing. I actually, I'm not going to make any excuses right now, okay? I'm not going to make any excuses. The main, I think the main reason why that happened is that I actually sneezed as we were going in to that battle. And I think that actually threw me off. I know, I know, that sounds really weird and, and so on, but I think that, <laughs> I personally think that might be the reason. But whatever the case, it's fine, it's fine. We're going to continue onward. We do have an heirloom, as I said before, and uh, yeah, that's just how it goes. So we're going to try something a little bit different this time around as well. I'm going to look for spears. Now, here's the thing, I'm not sure how well this is going to go. Actually, should I even, you know what? Okay, going to do something a little bit different. We're not going to do spears because I think I'm not good enough to be able to do spears yet. Uh, so I think that's just going to be a frustrating experience for everyone involved. Um, but what I think I'm actually going to do is I'll do one-handed without a shield. So no shield, all right? So just one-handed without a shield. And we're going to do the same thing again where we basically just choose whatever we can. And we're not going to reveal anything and all that stuff. And I'm probably going to remain relatively lightly armored once again. That's that's also the thing. That's also my, that's also the reason why I probably died. By the way, that's also the reason. Okay, so aura of style because that's what we're going for right there. All right, fantastic. We also have three thousand gold, which is okay. 
but the heavy hammer is obviously what we're going to be using at least initially oh yeah actually i can't even do anything about that i need to sell the shield and the one-handed and the refund is only 50 percent but technically i could get an axe here so we could go in with a one-handed straight away oh this is actually a good helmet as well for fame bonuses this is good I'm going to sell, I think, the uh, the legs once again, because as you can see, minus 6% stamina region. Not a big fan of that. Also, the arena tabard, I'm probably going to sell that too, because that's way too much stamina uh, degeneration, and I'm not a big fan of that. So we're going to go for the hammer, uh, but I'm actually, should I just purchase this and just go straight up? Yeah, you know what? We're just going to purchase this, go straight up. We're just going to sell that straight away. And then we're just going to go into training immediately. And we're just going to train in one-handed, uh, one-handed axe, one-handed sword, all that stuff. And we'll see how that goes. Hopefully that's going to go quite nicely. We're not going to use flail, by the way. No flails or anything like that because that's just too, that's just too strong. So we're otherwise just going to be doing this. Uh, you know what? I actually think that maybe if I had specced into movement speed, that might have made more sense too. Maybe I would have been able to achieve victory in that previous one if I'd be, been able to get away from the opponent just that much more. I don't know. But anyway, many versus one. I have no idea. Mm. Okay, so we're going to go for either one of these. I don't know which one is the uh, one versus many, if there is one. <laughs> yeah, none of these are... None of these bets are actually looking that good. So we're just going to go for some random one. doesn't really matter. And we're just going to see. But yeah. Uh, I, I was actually really enjoying using the pole arm, to be honest. I was actually really enjoying that. But for some reason, we just uh, well, we just succumbed to our wounds. Uh, many, many wounds inflicted by flail users. Oh, well. Never mind. It happens. It happens. And I'll, I'll, I'll learn from this and I will do better next time, as we have throughout the entirety of the series, of course. Anyway, let me see what I can do here. Again, no shield. And we're basically just going straight up against enemies that we can. And whoa, that's some that's some nice damage actually. Surprisingly nice damage. Okay, uh, can that guy actually do some damage to uh, the, the fellow there? We're doing a pit fight right now, by the way. I don't know whether you noticed that, but yeah, we're doing a pit fight. Okay, these guys, these guys are funny. These guys are really, really funny. I, I don't even know what they're doing right now, but uh, yeah, I'd like to get this kill if at all possible. Uh, so I don't really want the other guy to go in there and just immediately kill him. Uh, but I'm going to assume that that is exactly what is going to happen. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. We actually got the kill. That's wonderful. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit of cheering and things like that. This is obviously going to be a bit more difficult because we are using a one-handed and one-handeds are not that damaging at least early on oh that was some nice that was a nice hit that was a nice hit oh he's actually throwing that i don't know why you'd throw it sir okay there we go there we go yes okay wait a minute yeah so uh, if you're still here, if you're, if you're still watching, then what I'm actually going to say to you right now is that we're going to be updating our game to the beta version. Because as far as I'm aware, your save games do come with you. So my progression will still be here. And then what I'll do is I'll continue our challenge runs on the beta version itself. And so we're going to get to test out a bunch of additional things. You, you too, if you own the game, can also do this. So, you know... Uh, you can join me alongside if you want to, uh, but otherwise, yeah, that's that's probably what we're going to do so we can experience the very first of what is happening when it happens. Otherwise, uh, do I need a personal physician? No, I do not. Uh, all, all aid must go to the common people. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Anyway, how's my axe doing? Axe is perfectly fine. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.